In ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. Very good, Shadow. Now praise Jesus. Good job! As you can see, Shadow fell on his face before the Lord. He loves God so much, and so do I. So praise the Lord, praise God. As you know, children, we are supposed to give all of our worship to Jesus. And that is why, for this Lenten season, I have given up all the time that I normally spend polishing my medals, and I've used that time instead to read God's word, to pray, and to grow even closer to him because I love him so. And I love coming here to his kingdom because you always greet me with such a royal, holy greeting. In fact, just like the way Jesus was greeted when he came into Jerusalem. I want to tell you that story. Let me get out the Bible right now. so full of music and love. Now kids, in this report, Jesus and his followers were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. A Passover feast was a special holiday when God's people celebrated how God had saved them from Egypt's king, the Pharaoh. And Jesus told his disciples to go and find a young donkey. So they borrowed one for him to ride. Now if I were there, I would surely have loaned them my horse shadow. But these people knew of his powerful miracles. And so when they heard he was coming, they spread their coats on the ground. Oh, yes, to welcome him. And they waved their palms in the air. And the Bible says a whole crowd be began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, you see, they praise the king who loves. But there were some who did not love the king. Hmm. They were called Pharisees. And the Pharisees told Jesus to order these followers to stop the praises. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, why, the stones will cry out. Yes, you see, Jesus must be praised. Praise God. And if we don't praise him, well, the rocks, the trees, even the very birds in the sky will praise him. Oh, that reminds me of a beautiful song, children, that makes me feel even closer to the Lord. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Forgive me, children, I get carried away. Stay, Shadow. Good boy. Oh, it is so wonderful to praise Jesus, but we must see what the Bible says. Uh, after this, the Bible says that as he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it and said, if you, even you, had only known on this day what would bring you peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. You see, children, Jesus cried because he knew the future, and he knew that many people in Jerusalem would not believe in him as their Savior. So he cried for them because they would not have forever life with God. Oh, what a noble love Jesus has, uh, choosing to ride into the very city where he would die for us. No wonder we praise him so much. Now, this isn't a mushy kind of love. No, no, Jesus loves with a noble and strong love. And he proved that when he gave his life for us. He knew, he obeyed, he loved, he saved. Oh, children, I want to teach that to you. Yes, yes, everyone stand to your feet and I shall show you the motions. All right, everyone, point to your head and say, he knew. He knew because Jesus knew the future and he knew that he was going to die. He obeyed, 
Yes, because he rode into the very city where he was going to die, and he, he knew in advance, but he still obeyed the Lord. Then we say he loved, because he loved us enough to give his life for us. And last but not least, put out your arms like a cross, because he saved. He saved us from our sins on that cross. Let's say it together. He knew, he obeyed. He loved, he saved. He knew, he obeyed. He loved, he saved. Oh, isn't it wonderful that we have a king who saves? That's why we love to worship him so much. After all, say it together, children. Serving the king is the noblest thing. Oh, I can't wait for Easter when we can greet him together. Ta-ta, children. <laughs>